Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today, I've got a Sainsbury's boot haul um, to show you. Slightly unusual. So I have my shopping delivered. It's Saturday. Um, I had the 9 to 10 slot. My delivery driver was a little bit late, but there's really high winds at the moment and rural delivery areas must be a pain in the bum. So that's not a problem. I had two substitutions, which I've kept. Um, the, the weird thing was that there is uh, items missing from my shopping. I've not been charged for them, um, but like I, I'm taking everything out of the containers and it's like, and he goes, oh, that's everything. And I went, oh, I'm missing Pepsi. And he went, oh, these are all your containers. He went back to the van. There's no containers for me. I then checked my receipt and there's no pepsi on there and he goes well you, you couldn't have ordered it so then i pull up <laughs> my uh, email from online that says i ordered three bottles of pepsi because they were on offer um and he goes well i don't know what's happened because the store can't take it off they can either they have to mark it as a substitution and i'm like well <sighs> he wasn't calling me a lie teller but he was basically like that can't be true and i'm like well there's the email saying i ordered it <laughs> I can buy Pepsi elsewhere, but it's just weird that his reaction was, well, that's not true. I don't know. Anyway, so, let's get my receipt. This total, he seemed frazzled, to be fair. He's normally very nice, the driver, and he was not himself today. Uh, yeah, so the total came to £84.82p. Um, biggest expense is dog food, because we've got it in the shopping again. Um, but yes, let's show you what we've got quick overview yeah um it's all a bit crowded i need a bigger kitchen just for food hall purposes maybe we should suggest that to john beach um right so we'll start over here uh john loves this stuff he's he he, he likes it a lot so yeah we've got him the king's ribeye flavor biltong i don't like it but he really likes it so yeah give the man what he wants um i got some sweet corn uh i got some doubt egg but so we used to have this one all the time and then we kind of went over to the azure 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 i don't know how you say it stuff um but at the moment this is on offer and it was like half the price so we're gonna have this for a bit um to be fair at the weekend we drink the, the Starbucks stuff that goes, grinds and either does in the machine or in the press. It's just quick, lazy coffee that we have this for in the week. This I'm rather obsessed with, this carpet fresh in the Thai orchard. I really like it. <laughs> if Mrs. Hinch stopped making videos tomorrow um, or Insta stories tomorrow, this would stay with me until they stopped making it because I, I really do like it. That sounds really weird about a cleaning product, but I do. Um, I got some of these Special K protein bars packed with nuts, seeds and almond butter. Um, they're for John actually, so hopefully he'll like them. But yeah, they're like four and I think it's like £1.50, which is a really good price. I got some lighter soft cheese. I got some of the basics low fat fruit yogurts. Uh, normal skimmy milk, skimmy? <laughs> Skinny skimmed milk four pints and then I got John this one percent protein milk that I've used now for his smoothies used to new used to use almond milk but we tried this a couple of weeks ago he really liked it so we've been using that got some squash this is the no added sugar summer fruit um barley squash I've just been fancying this all week so got some of that I got two lots of sweet and sour stir fry sauce um i like things <laughs> sounds really weird i like my food uh saucy or moist if i know people don't like that word but like i need sauce like a lot of sauce or if there's gravy i need a lot of gravy i don't like dry food <laughs> um i know some people would see this as overkill but that's what we're having um i got some taste the difference chopped tomatoes um, I'm going to try a do and do a baked risotto this week, and that's what that's for. 
got some Quaker's Oat So Simple Protein Porridge. I really like this. John tried it. He wasn't so keen. He's not the biggest porridge fan anyway. Um, but I really like that. So that's for me. We've got some cherry tomatoes. And then there is a pre-done Greek salad out the back. It's, it's good. It's got like a bit of feta in there. Some olives. It's just perfect for being lazy. Um, some basic chicken stock cubes. Oh, talking of basic, uh, crunchy peanut butter. I always buy the organic crunchy peanut butter by Sainsbury's. We got this a couple of weeks ago as a substitution um, and used it in John's smoothies. And he actually really likes it. And I'm quite sure the organic one that we buy is like £2 or £1.80. And this is like 70p. Um, it wasn't as successful when I had it like on toast. But in a smoothie, it's bang on. So yeah, we bought that for smoothies. Um, mustard powder. Coleman's mustard, mustard powder. Never, ever, ever used this stuff in my life. Uh, but it's in one of the new recipes I'm going to try this week. So yeah, I don't really know what to do with it, but I've got it. Um... We've got some gnocchi. I love gnocchi. So yeah, we've got some of that. I've got some carnations that have not opened up. So hopefully they will last the 10 days that they reckon they will. Um, chorizo. Grated cheddar. There is some carrots under there. We've got half a cucumber. Oh, a big bag of spinach one of the recipes i'm doing this week needs kale and they only had one kale available on the website and it had really bad reviews basically saying it was all stalks um so hopefully the spinach will work <laughs> but yeah got spinach uh, a big bag of bananas a red pepper um Salted pretzels, yes. <laughs> Perfect for sharing. No, no, no. Katie's the only person in this house that eats these. Um, giant cauliflower. Like, this cauliflower is freaking huge. We've been eating a lot of cauliflower lately. Um, some sponge mix. Um, oh, I've got a multi-pack of sweet and salty crisps. No? Sweet and salty popcorn. Um, yeah. And then I got some tangy cheese tortilla chips, crisps. I don't know. I've got some of those. I've got a two pack of leeks. I don't know what's under here. Oh, I got different wraps this week. These are like the soft flour. These are like the Sainsbury's wraps. We normally buy the uh, low fat ones. These were a lot cheaper and only a little bit more in calories. And... They're a bit smaller, but they they'll be our eat, our eat. And then under there, there are some strawberries and blueberries. I've got two packs of mushrooms this week. I've got a packet of bagels for Game of Thrones breakfast on Monday. Um, oh, we're coming to the substitution. So this, I ordered smoke, smoked salmon. They substituted it. Uh, it's just substituted for a more expensive pack. It's fine. Um, and then I ordered the Harrington's dog food. Um, we always get the boys turkey because that's Darwin's favourite. Um, they substituted it for the lamb. They like this one. They'll eat it. It's just Darwin's favourite is the turkey. He eats that a lot quicker than anything else. But it will be fine. Um, and then we got two packs of the grain free fourth glade turkey and sweet potato. They both like that one. I've got a two pack of avocados down there. My store has got all the summer barbecue stuff back in stock now. Um, we really like these. We had these last summer. Um, so the lamb and mint kebabs. Yum. Um, as someone who doesn't like pork, I've ordered a lot of it this week. So I've <laughs> got some bacon. Um, I normally buy the stuff that's already cut in medallions, but it is like double the price of this. And I was reading the reviews, because I always do that on Sainsbury's, um, and somebody was like saying that they used to have the medallions that I normally buy, and they just trim this down, um, and it's just as good, it's just a little bit more effort. So we're going to do that this week. 
And then, if you remember, last week um, I bought, I thought I'd ordered gammon ham, um, and I actually ordered gammon, um, but I tried it with the recipe anyway, and it worked really well. So, this week I bought gammon on purpose. I've just bought a bit more because it needs, it needed to. And then there's cocktail sausages for the puppy dogs. I've got sausages somewhere. I'm sure I unpack them. Ooh. Um, I've got a bag of frozen stir fry veg. Oh, there they are. I knew I'd got sausages. I got some of these heck 97% sausages. So, so far, for the person that doesn't like pork, it's like pork, 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 lamb. Uh, so yeah, pork sausages, bag of frozen peas. And then, this is why we have no fresh chicken. We have bought the British plain chicken breast fillet portions that are frozen. Just, I've always been a little bit wary of frozen chicken in this format. Um, like, obviously, you buy chicken nuggets or, like, chicken, fro like, this normal stuff from frozen chicken. You kind of, that's fine. But this kind of chicken, like, when me and John first bought a house and we were broke, this is the kind of, chicken that we had and it was mostly water and it just it was a false economy it was cheap but the portions were small and once you cook them they shrank to nothing so I've always kind of stayed away from it however I was reading the reviews on the Sainsbury's website and everybody you know this had quite good reviews so this week rather than buying fresh chicken I've bought this to give it a go because it is it is more reasonable and the last couple of times our chicken that we've had fresh hasn't had the greatest dates and obviously this is in the freezer so it lasts for freaking ever um so yeah that is the plan um hopefully it will go okay but that is this week's shopping very rambly this week sorry guys <laughs> I know some people hate it when it goes over eight minutes. I can't help it. Some days I just need to talk. But yes, right, I'm going to put all of the shopping away. Um, I have had a few requests to do cook with me videos. Um, I need a different tripod to be able to do that. But it's something I'm looking into. So, if you would like to do, like me... <laughs> if you'd like me to do a cook cooking video comment below what you'd like to see me cook i've also which is a little bit different i've had quite a few requests i've had very lovely people commenting on my voice and how they like it i normally get hate comments because i've got a singy voice but lately people have been very polite and i've had a several requests to do those um asmr videos um which i'm not like I wouldn't say no, but I wouldn't know what to do. So what are you meant to do in those? Like, I know people like whispering things. I've seen the Jeffree Star ones where he reads his haters' comments. That's hilarious. But normal ASMR isn't that kind of thing. So um, let me know what you want and I'll see what I can do. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have had a lovely day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys.